Hi guys. Hi, welcome to my new Disco Elysium video. I just clicked start streaming instead of start recording on my uh, OBS recording software, which means for about a second, I think I just went live on Twitch. I don't think it connected. And I just thought, let's just start the recording straight away so you can join me in my agony. Um, I don't think it did connect. I don't think I actually went live. No Discord alerts have gone out or anything. So I think we're okay to focus on the task at hand, which is recording for YouTube. Screw all the Twitch people, apart from the ones that are watching this, and I appreciate you. Um, but we're going to do uh, another episode of the Disco Elysium playthrough. Uh, this time we are on to episode 16. Wow. Um, and I've been excited for this one because it feels like we're opening up. Our, well, we are. It's not what it feels like. It's just this is what's happening. We're opening up a whole new area of the game. Loads more places to explore. We've been doing a little bit of back and forth, running around areas, doing the same old routes um, on the map. And it is going to be Wednesday in the game, which means that Kim's going to come back to us. Our lovely Kim is going to come back to us. And we've got um, a whole new area to uh, explore across the harbour. Loads of tasks are linked to that. Um, and so there's some bits and bobs that we're going to be able to do. But first off, I just wanted to say thank you to uh, the lovely and multiple commenters and likers on the YouTube um, episode. The last one. Oh, look, this is a nice uh, freeze. Looking great, Ad. Um, but... Uh, on the last episode, we had lots of lovely comments. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Manuel Violetta. Thank you, uh, Nat, first of the fermented barbarian dude, of course. Sorry, Sod, Skeletoni. Um, I'm not going to thank everybody. I think that was everybody. But I'm not going to thank everybody. Let's pretend there are thousands more. Um, but yeah, I said at the end of the last episode how much I love the artwork in this game and I wondered if there were uh, any compendiums or anything or information about who did it. I could have just looked in the credits of the game, I probably could have googled it myself but as always I stopped recording and then I got on with my life and I forgot all the things, the hopes and dreams that I had at the end of the episode. Manuel Violetta let me know the art was led by Alexander Rostov, um, so that's the name worth checking out or googling if you want to. Um, is the game audio really loud? Is it louder than normal? I think we're okay. Um, and then also, uh, Barbarian Dude said um, that they really enjoyed the um, interactions we had with the EU bureaucrat. Um, but something that I found particularly help helpful was from Skeletoni9156, who said, Since you've noted that you don't see what you could use the shot put, put ball for a couple of times now, I'll go ahead and let you know because it happens to relate to the choices you've already made. This is cool. Um, this is totally fine. I don't see this as backseating or spoilers or anything like that. Obviously, I wouldn't have got to this. Um, you may recall your interaction with the elderly gentleman by the water a couple of episodes back. It involved Harry chucking one of the balls into the water as a result of a physical instrument check. So it seems the game is presenting you with the opportunity to right that wrong. Though you could just take the money anyway and the elders would be none the wiser. There's also the fact that if your character had never thrown the ball in the first place, you wouldn't be confronted with this dilemma. You'd just have free money. So I that shot put I've got, I could go and give to those guys. And I think I'm going to do that just to see what happens. I replied to Skeletoni. That hadn't crossed my mind at all as I assumed the shot put was much bigger, which I did. I always thought a shot put, whenever I've ever watched the Olympics, is like that sized. And I thought a ball was like that sized. I'm a sports guy, uh, but turns out I might be completely wrong. Anyway, let's get into the game. We're going to reunite with uh, Kim at last, which is going to help with a lot of our interactions, I expect. And we're going to go and cross. And as always, I've got big plans for this episode, and I'll probably achieve one or two of them before it'll be time to stop. However, this is going out on Friday. I'm hoping to record another one after this or tomorrow i'm recording this on wednesday it's going to go out on friday i'm hoping to record another one on thursday that i'm hoping to put out on monday or tuesday um, so your friday episode is normal this week and then next week i'm hoping that there'll be two episodes for you um probably monday or tuesday or friday and that's just a load of day names i've said and it's all probably getting a bit confusing so let's just play the game I can't believe I went live. I don't think anybody's message to say, huh? 
and there's no VOD uh, up on my Twitch page or anything yet, so I think it didn't fully connect. Here we go. I've woken up. 7.30 in the morning, day three. I might just go and pay for my room straight away while we're here. Also, I wonder when we actually meet with um, Kim. Do you think Kim will just be downstairs or, or um, outside? Oh, yeah. My boy, Kim. I'm going to blank Kim and go and pay for my rent. Good morning. Can I help you? My bill for tonight, please, Gart. Gart? Got a? Got the 20 real. Of course. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. Yes, I know how it works. I really want to ask you about um, the clothes I found. I think that was one of my tasks, but you keep not offering me that opportunity. Uh, unless it's this. God, I saw another thing at the whirling. Another thing. Great. I love those. I saw a sign that said I couldn't go into the kitchen. Why? What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. I've been in there already, though, haven't I? Um, there's something pertinent? He wasn't pan-fried. He was lynched. What could the kitchen possibly have to do with... He changes his mind. Fine. Okay. The kitchen is closed until 1pm because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that, if you must. There's a mysterious blue steel door in, in the back of the kitchen. Oh, yes. That door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. We've asked these before, but I might just ask again. You know what's behind it? No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. Fair. It's just a frit warehouse, probably. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. I think you'd like to know what's back there. Fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. God, it seems like you've got quite a lot of time because you've been staring at that bird for two days, three days now. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Okay. Something else I want to ask? Yes. Is there? Goodbye. Like it. Right. Kim, we've got a whole heap of stuff to catch up with. Where should we do it? Let's not do it with an earshot of any of these people. There's this. These interactions I need to have with Kim. Let's get outside. See what the weather's like. You see, I am tempted to save... Um, to sell the shop put because I now only have nearly 10 real and I need 20 each day. Maybe I'm going to discover a load of money though in this new area. Um, so yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. Let's chat to Kim. Yes. What do you mean? Yes. Don't you want to know what I've been up to Kim? All these things I've said before. You seem to be following me. I want to talk about you. I've got, I thought we'd have a... Do you just know everything, Kim? Leave. Well, fine. I thought we could have a great big conversation then. But we cannot. Right, let's look at the tasks. As always, we can't find a sad song. The passage we've just talked about, nothing's coming of that just yet. Keep searching for the cooler, despite the lack of obvious leads. It might take some time. Talk to people about the tattoos. We haven't really had any opportunities to do that yet. Ask Gart if he knows the, how the victim's clothes got in the trash. Why am I not getting the opportunity to do this? I'd happily, if anybody would like to comment on the video um, and let me know about this, because I do seem to be stuck on that. Um, that would be great. Track down your badge is something else that we're just going to hopefully find. The armor gloves is something that we're going to do down the coast, which maybe we'll do today. Um, we'll close the water lock. We might do that straight away now. We need to go up and see the assault victim. That's tempting to do right now while we're here before we venture away. Working class husband we might see and get two signatures. Where was this again? 
get Isabel and Lillian in the nameless fishing village. Okay, yeah, so that's down the coast too. So, I propose to you, Kim. Will you marry me? No, I propose we go and uh, speak to the victim. Call on, please, we had that little chat outside, Kim. That was great. You said yes to me. I then stood there and thought about stuff by myself. Here we go. This feels pretty big, though. This feels like a big moment. Come on, let's stand in a better way than this. The door is closed. Mm -hmm. There's still a dent in the vinyl where you punched it before. Oh, yeah. Run your finger across the dent. This little depression is all you could inflict on the door. You swallow like you swallowed the last time. Whatever bitter emotion was swimming to the surface then and now subsides, submerges, sinks back into you. Knock. Who is it? A woman's voice answers muffled by the door. This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. I'm drying my hair. Come on up. Oh shit. Door was open all along. Oh wow, she got like a double layer apartment thing. Let's look at some stuff. Oh wait, because we've seen the person on top of the roof, haven't we? Loads. As we've been walking around outside, we've seen somebody up on top of the roof. Room has sad all over it, reminds you of your own. Hotel bill calculations look like she, looks like she's had an extended stay. Okay, do we go straight up or do we actually have a look out here first? I've got a feeling we should do this. Oh, it's a bathroom. Anything to take? This medicine cabinet is full of wares. Sheets of pills haphazardly stacked one on top of the other. There's also a toothbrush somewhere in there. Look at the toothbrush. It's been used quite a lot. Hmm, someone likes to brush their teeth. Look at the medications. Pharmaceuticals line the shelves, sheet upon sheet of pill bottle next to pill bottle. Acetylic acid, APAP, eye drops, blood thinners. This is reminding me that I need to take my vitamin D, okay? So this is just a supplement, but if you are somebody who has meds to take on a daily basis, don't forget, take your meds. Also, take your supplements. I had to start taking vitamin D supplements last year because during the, the winter of 2022 into 23, uh, I kept on getting really groggy and like a real brain fog all the time and just feeling like headachey and like nothing, even if I'd be exercising, drinking loads of water, trying to make sure I got good sleep and nothing was helping. Ended up having some blood tests and they told me I had a little bit of a vitamin D deficiency and I needed to take supplements. So that's what I've been doing and it helped. And then this year, I kind of forgot to take the supplements and it's been coming back, so I'm taking them again. Um, this is not me prescribing vitamin D to anybody, but if you feel that way, it could well be the case. But speak to your doctor or GP first. Don't don't say ad 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 told me to do it. Wow, I feel incredible immediately. Um, there's quite the collection in here. Search the bottles, search the pill sheets. Let's let's, let's chat. Let's have a chat. There's quite the collection here. Anything of note? Anything of note? Oh, Kim, I've missed your voice. I've missed your company actually. Um, search the bottles. Pill bottles rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. Paracetamol, histoperidol, something in a foreign language you can't read. Behind them, an unusually shaped nasal spray. Its label reads, Nacra. It's Nacra. Keep it to yourself. No, we share with Kim. An opioid receptor antagonist. It's used for diamorphine overdoses. Hmm. Search the pill sheets. Among some foreign probably Mycenaean or Gottwaldian. Marked red blister packs you find. What do you find? This is going to take a little know-how. Shit. 
92% chance. Yes, because I've got a chemical hangover. Yes. Is there anything more interesting in here? We go for this. We don't even need to change outfits or look at any other options to boost it. 92% is good with me. Here we go. A bright orange bottle with Preptide stamped on it in sunny, happy letters. Jackpot, baby. That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just holding that little plastic container. And your chest swells with pride. Look, it's made right here in Revachol by San Batiste, a proud Revacholian pharmaceutical company with great traditions. Okay, so to take it in plain sight, sorry, to take it in secret, I've got 42% chance, I've got sweaty hands. Interfacing, surely, would I put, I mean, sorry, my thought process was quicker than I could speak then. I was thinking, I've got sweaty hands, so I'll put on gloves. But think about that in real life. Wouldn't that become more suspicious if I suddenly put on gloves as I was searching through? Let's see if that makes any difference though. So it's interfacing. And the problem I have at the minute is sweaty hands. So if I close the cabinet and then we look in my bag and then we put on the plus one interfacing with the gloves. So that's, that's good, even though they are ridiculous gloves. What about those? Oh, that would have done electrochemistry. That could have, anyway. Uh, anything else for interfacing? Probably not. You'd imagine the gloves are the only thing that are going to do anything there. But it's we're scrolling through. We're still learning. Although learning kind of implies that, like, you remember stuff. Um... Okay, that's it, right? How, how much of a chance is this going to give me now? This medicine cabinet is stocked. Search for the Preptide. There it is. The orange sun we're in blister pack. You feel almost nostalgic for it. 58. Why is it saying sweaty hands when I've got gloves on now? Do, I think we do it. It's a red check cannot be retried. But if I... What's going to happen? Is Kim going to notice that I try and do it? Am I going to get busted? Or will I be able to take it in plain sight? Let's just do it. 58%. It's better than 50-50. Silently. I deserve this. Right into your palm. Then, as you turn, into your pocket. Nicely done. I've got some preptide. Don't know why that's good, but I'm delighted. Feels so sleek and beautiful. You got it. Yes. Here comes the afterburner. Time to become a super detective again, Harry. Yes. Just put it in your sweaty little hand. Uh, I might still say there's quite the collection in here. I've already said that. Anything I've not? Oh yeah, I already said that. Close the cabinet. Okay, let's look at the window. You see the yard below. The corpse is no longer there. What? Oh yeah. Um, okay, should we go upstairs? In fact, let's have a look at the preptide. Preptide? Plus one motor motorix and psych minus one morale. Four uses. Okay. Bright orange medicine bottle declares the brand name Preptide in a sunny, happy manner. Someone has lost the bottle, but who cares? Okay, up we go. I'm pleased with that. We did a couple of decent rolls there. Let's go upstairs. Are we going to be on the roof with that woman now? I think we are. What, Kim? I feel someone watching you behind the glass door. A woman. This bed has been hastily made. Quite like this though, little upstairs like meza, mezzanine, mezzan, mezzan, upstairs bit. What does it mean when it's yellow again? This window is pristine on the inside, unlike the one next to it. Light from the desk lamp reflects off the glass in an untarnished golden halo. Been replaced. Run your finger across the surface of the glass. Smooth as ice. There are spots of mud and rain on the outside. Even smudges. Oh. But the surface of the window is clear from the inside. No chips. No hairline fractures. So what does that mean? It hasn't been replaced, but it's been cleaned. Just that window. Following your lead, the lieutenant leans in closer to inspect the surface. This window was recently replaced, Kim. Looks like it, yes. He adjusts his glasses because we're looking at glass and then he's thinking about the word glass and the fact that his glasses are made of glass.
maybe. You know which window has not been recently replaced? The one I smashed in my room? Yes, that one. Cold wind is seeping in right now. Just one floor below you. Messing up your concentration here. No, it's not. Stop distracting him! Exactly. He has work to do! Plus, if I recall, the window has been giving him shit ever since he got here! Leave. Okay, what have we got here? Something broken on the floor. What? Oh, is that just my way of coming out here? Smell of cigarettes, smoke in the air. There you go, this is the person. I always want to investigate stuff before I chat so I can get all the info and intel I can. Even though really she'd start Small, talking. Heavy door, no lock in sight. Kick it in. Now, I'm probably going to hurt myself, but at least I won't die. 28% anti-object task force. Initiate anti-object task force expert. That's from some of the stuff I've been learning. Oh, I feel like somebody did a comment about some of the Thought Palace stuff. Is it Thought Palace? I can't remember what it's called. Um, you can retry it. Shall I just say, where does this lead to? I don't know. Okay, thanks, Kim. It is not the first closed door we found in this building. There is also your mysterious blue kitchen door. Yep. Do you think it's important? I don't know. The further we get, the more this building seems to be tied to the case. Mm. The vigilantes, the cadaver, and a number of people connected to the case are in or around this building. This door is part of it. It's not unimportant. Okay. See, the main investigation and the door below are merging into a stereo investigation. I could say something, but I'm not going to, because I don't want to go out. Let's stay the stereo investigation line. I hate it when that happens. Push the door. It's barred from the inside. You hear the bar rattle in the brackets. Shall I try kick it? Shall I try kick it? Um, Physical instrument. Let's have another look. Oh, I always press exit. Escape even. Let's have a look at what stuff I've got. Is there anything here? Have I got any like... I haven't got any boots. Anything that's going to help me with physical... Um, physical instrument stuff. I don't think any of this is, is it? Not going to help me with kicking. But can I take any of the drugs? Oh, my white tank top, Will. Let's put that on. And then I'll see if any of the stuff I'm wearing in a minute gives me negative. No. 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 Look at all my keys. I've got so many keys. Okay, tools. Can you can this help me? Can this make me feel No, probably not how these things work. If I drink alcohol, it's better for my physique, which is the same colour as physical instruments, so it makes me think that's gonna help me. I'm gonna do it. How do I do it? How do you actually drink it? I can't remember. Uh here we go. Oh look, if you right click it's the same as tab. Um Weird. That was weird. Okay. I've had a drink. I've damaged my morale. <laughs> Sounds about right. The same small heavy. Fifty eight. In sight. I've got to say though, I've just passed a 58, so now that makes me think that I won't get this one, even though it's higher than 50 50. But we're on a roll today, right? Come on, kick it in. Yes! Something cracks inside. Yes! I'm really happy. It is an unbelievably satisfying sound. Hopefully, it wasn't my shin bone. Look at that. Nice. Thank you. Miss Orange, your disco dancer, appreciates my amazing kicks. Filling you with a belief in your own body. This is going great. 
Sounds like the property damage wasn't in vain, at least. Would it hurt to look in? We're definitely looking in. We'll chat to you in a bit. Do we look at that or that? Nah, let's just go in. Stuff. Footprints. Drawers. Let's look at the footprints. You clearly see footprints in the downy carpet of dust covering the workshop floor. Somebody has been in here recently, even though it's been mostly left unattended up until now. Jackpot. These, and like everything else here, are new. That's basically what I just said, Kim. Someone's been here within the last week or two. Three weeks maximum, from the dust cover age. Mm. It could easily have been one week too. You know, officer. This is good. He likes it. There's a little smile there, in the dark of the workshop. It was a stereo investigation after all. It has now converged with our main investigation, adding a new fact to consider. Okay. What does this mean? It means someone snuck through what seems like a secret route behind our rape victim's room in the recent weeks. This may prove to be significant. Definitely. Let's have a closer look at the footprints. Large prints, most likely made by boots. The size is hard to determine. Soul could be bigger than vamp. The soles have left the pattern, it's uniform, vamp. horizontal lines. It's vamp. It's vamp like the main sh part of the shoe. I mean, surely it gives a rough idea of the size of the shoe. You're not going to have like tiny little shoes with massive soles. It's not like there's enough dust that it's like snow and you have to be those people who have to wear little tennis rackets on their feet. That's what I'd say to Kim now. Everything around you is quiet. The prints crisscross the workshop floor. Well, now we're adding to the prints. This feels bad. We should be doing the floor is lava and climbing across the desk and everything, so we're not adding to the print. Let's move on. What's this? There's, an, there's another door. Is this another door? It's a lift. I think that's a lift. I didn't see what that said, guys. I was excited by the lift. You've seen what that said. I don't know what it said. Hopefully nothing too important. By the way, look what's happened. I said we're going to go and explore this new area uh, over the harbour and do all these other tasks. And all like this whole episode is now going to be to do with this and to do with the victim and stuff like that. But I'm okay with it. I'm really enjoying this. Ooh, pinball maker's coat. Empathy and hand-eye coordination. That's good. Am I going to run out of space? Do you run out of space for clothes? No, look. Oh my God. Well, I mean, who knows? I'm looking at this as if this is to scale and it's like that dot is for these three rows. And then if I go there, there's going to be another three rows, but we don't know yet. We don't know the scaling of the carousel. Oh God, I bored myself. Boxes of tools and replacement parts line the shelves. Small windows taped shut with black plastic. You can't see outside. And what's this? Is it a lift? Where are we? Also, pinball maker, and there are loads of pinball machines here. This pinball is white Diora. The back the back glass shows a female figure in mourning. A note, NB, the spare key is tied to the bush outside the corner room window. Right, that might have money in it. Spare, or the spare key to what? The spare key is bush outside the corner room window. We must, just, we must remember that. Fucking yes money, that's a, an eighth of the money we need. No, it isn't. It's a quarter of the money we need. Can I see this? Over there, in the corner. Wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for pressing tab. Thank you to whoever it was who told me about pressing tab in the early days on the YouTube comments. The pinball machine. Ignore the machine. Obviously, we're going to reference it. Not just any pinball machine. This is the pinnacle of pinball. 
Cornelius Gordy and the Mountain Goats. It's lit. You can't wait to get your hands on it. I'm lit. Kim, are you seeing what I'm seeing? The pinball machine. Gordy's Goats, a classic. Wait, you've played it? A little. Feels like a lot. Too much to play it again. Let's take a closer look. But do we get to play pinball? Oh, great. Oh, great. Cornelius Gordy and the Mountain Goats reads the golden lettering on top of the back box. There's a small column of text underneath. The machine is coin operated. Mm. Get the game on, Finger Boy. Those flippers are ready. Finger Boy. Let's play. It takes a while to get into a rhythm, but pretty soon you're able to keep three goat-faced balls in play with relative ease. Those gloves as well. I guess I have to press continue. I'm just enjoying this. I'm just enjoying the way that I'm focused and Kim kind of just wants to move on, I think. Go, go, finger boy. Stop calling me finger boy. I feel sorry for the gods. If they only knew the kind of guy old Cornelius really was. Kind of don't really care, and but feel like I should click this. The kind of a guy who uses the word savages a lot when recounting his travels. Ah. A masked nationalist. A racist mountaineer. An avid huntsman too. He was often photographed in his dining hall. Surrounded by wall-mounted hunting trophies from every continent. Technically, the human beings are at the top of the food chain, so... I, I'm, I can't really remember if I've decided if I am racist or not. Uh, please don't clip that and take it out of context. My carrots are in the game. <laughs> Technically, I'm going to say that is not cool. In fact, no, I'm going to say that one. He also hit his wife and kids. Other people's kids too. Oh. Sometimes pets. Hateful. Hateful people. little man. But you seem to be having fun. I'm pretty good at this. Your game is definitely improving. The jolly goats are flying all over the board. Jolly goats. And although a few plummet to their deaths, you're never left with less than three. Suddenly, a special passage leading to the summit slides open at the top of the board. This is where the balls need to go. Concentrate and aim for the narrow passage. Maneuvering a goat ball into a position for a perfect hit isn't easy. More fall to their deaths. But finally, the opportunity presents itself. One of them gets through. The words pale rupture light up on the speaker panel and the machine starts filling with a thick, milky fog. Something's happening. Oh no. Congratulations. This is where the game ends. It's a cheap way of getting more money out of the players. A stupid nihilistic finale. Pale rupture. There's so much fog, you can barely see anything. Some is actually leaking out of the machine, and one by one, your goats start slipping, disappearing into the milky nothingness. My goats! Lucky goats. The fog looks soft and inviting. This can be navigated. The balls leave almost imperceptible disruptions in the fog. Use them to calculate where they hit next. Oh my god. Hit the pads as fast as you can. Maximum attack. Not even a bullet can get through. You're down to your last goat, going mostly by sound. Eyes are useless at this point, but that goat is something special. Five times you snatch him back from the jaws of death. Yes, see, I have. So I have said I'm a nationalist. Um, three percent. I have got stuff that can boost my reaction speed, but even so, why do they even make these if it's impossible to win? Kim, it can be done. Just watch. I am. I've seen it before. Played it too. You will eventually make a mistake, and then it's all over. Uh, so give up or give up. Why do they even make it if it's impossible? Why do they even make it if it's impossible? Okay. Um, it's a red check, it cannot be retried. Do I bother trying to improve my reaction speed? Why not? In fact, well, I'm going to have to click one of these to get out anyway. And then 
Hmm. I've been wondering the same. There goes nothing, finger boy. Stop it. Kingdom of Conscience. Okay. Thought complete. The Kingdom of Conscience will be exactly as it is now. Moralists don't really have beliefs. Sometimes they stumble on one, like on a child's toy left on the carpet. The toy must be put away immediately and the child reprimanded. Centrism isn't change, not even incremental change. It is control over yourself and the world. Exercise it. Look up at the sky, at the dark shapes of the coalition airships hanging there. Ask yourself, is there something sinister in moralism? And then answer, no. God is in his heaven. Everything is normal on Earth. Moralist dialogue options healed, plus one morale, learning cap for violation raised to five, learning cap for logic raised to five. Accept. Nice. I've still got only two skill points, so, because uh, really, I'd love to be constantly boosting all of these, but I need the skill points. But I can't remember. It looks as if I can only have two skill points at once. I think that's what we agreed. So I'm I'm sort of in two minds whether or not I should spend my skill points to start boosting this, or if we do a bit more uh, of this, open another slot, and start internalizing this. That's going to take nine hours. That one was pretty quick. Uh, Okay, well I think we wait and then we wait until there's like a red check that we're desperate to do or a white check, sorry and uh, maybe we do a little boost because we could just boost reaction speed now but I don't think I'm going to get a huge amount I don't think achieving or being good at pinball is going to have massive consequences especially considering it was a hidden machine uh, anyway let's go back to here because we've got something that was new and updated in here but I've now lost it uh, anyway we're going to speak to this all victim hold on Did I explore the secret passage then? Am I... Ah! Have I just got the perspective wrong? Is this room connected to that door? Is that... Oh! That is my... wife FaceTiming me. Uh, let me very quickly just say, just in the middle of recording something, of recording something. Ah, trying to FaceTime again. Decline. Be free in. Sorry, guys. Let me just double check. About 20 minutes or so? About 20, 25 mins. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Uh, my wife is in London today with my daughter and they're having like a lovely day out. So I'm missing out on a potential very um, wholesome and enriching FaceTime with my family in order to provide this for you. Anyway, look, is that the door there? Right. For some reason, when we first came in here, I was confused by this, but this is really cool. So can I go back out that way? Let me see if I can go back out that way. Surprise the shit out of the chef. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. It's connected to the one upstairs, but how do we get through? There must be a key somewhere. We know where the key is. Probably somewhere in the whirling. It's... We... Oops, sorry. Sorry, Kim. We know where the key is because we've been told. Um, What's this? 
I'm confused about how sometimes these look at this the way you have to hold the mouse I don't know if I want to click on that I can't remember what that means let's go upstairs and find the key back in the lift this small elevator is dimly lit yeah, we'll like smells of nougat and sweat your head brushes up against the ceiling there is a control panel to your right and just enough room for two people to fit yeah, in. Yeah, we, we've already come down it. So I guess some people get to come up to this bit and then they look around and they find the key and then they come down and they use it to go into that room because not everybody will have the luck that I had when it came to kicking. Not everybody's as good at kicking as I am. Ignore all the bad kicking we did earlier on in the game. So this is where they brought 40 pinball machines to fix them up a long time ago. Everything is covered with dust now. The lieutenant looks around the dusty, crowded room, inspecting the tools on the shelf. This used to be a pinball workshop. Looks like it. I'm guessing Martinez North 22 used to be a pinball arcade before it became a hostel. There are machines left over. Downstairs in the hall, next to the main door. One of them even works. I've seen one of the hardies bang away at it. Whirling in Rags was once the East Delta Pinball Arcade. This is all that's left over from that. Ah, yes, as the novelty dice makers said. This has absolutely nothing to do with the case, I'm sure. But I do like a nice little connection. Were you there, Kim, for the dice maker? How do you know that? Were you there with me? Maybe you were, I can't remember. But then it went bankrupt. Your skin crawls from making the connection. Could this mean the whirling in rags really is part of the Doom commercial area? So they get, yeah, let's say that. If that's true, then our cafeteria manager is not going to like it. We should tell him what we found up here, omitting that suspicion. We will. He does not appear to be the kind of man who likes his establishment to be part of a neighborhood ghost story about bankruptcy. I can't wait to tell him. It's not a ghost story. It's a curse. And God ought to be made knowledgeable so he could perform counter spells. Cool. Okay, let's go out here and let's find that key. Because, I mean, we don't actually need the key, but I, it's not important at all, is it, actually? But I just want to find it. Well, where did they mean? I thought they meant... Ah, sorry, it's downstairs, isn't it? There's a plant downstairs, so we'll look at that. Okay. Got coffee in an ashtray that looks like a hedgehog. Hmm. Handful of dried white flowers. Just as you look at the flowers... A gust of wind raises them from the roof, picking them up in the air. Oh, wow. Uh, let's just do it at 42%. Come on. You catch a single white flower. What a day! Your fingers. The rest fly off into the wind. It's a Maybell. I just caught a flower that was floating in the air. The young woman looks at the Maybell in your hand. Just a glance. Then takes a drag of her cigarette. I'm tempted to go downstairs and get the key now before I forget. But I think we're gonna have this chat and I think what's gonna happen in this episode is that we're not going across the harbor. <laughs> I should have, I, I kind of thought that might be the case, but I did think we'd get there. That's okay though, because I'm gonna record another one tomorrow that will come out on Monday or Tuesday for you. I should stop referring to days because it's all confusing. The Lieutenant gives you an acknowledging little nod. Thank you, Kim. Very cool. I've got a flower now. Dried Maybells. Use interact button to inspect them. This is a wildflower you caught once of a bouquet of muguets that you found on the whirling roof. It's shedding its petals quickly in your pocket, I bet. Um, what's this? Use interact button on it. Oh, sorry. I was thinking, okay, well, look at this. I don't, anyway. Six crumbling petals rest on your palm. They're white, a bell-shaped crown. What is this, Kim? This is the insulindian lily, called Maybells or Lucille's Tears during the revolution. Girls used to pin these on soldiers before sending them off to battle. Who pinned them, which, which side? The revolutionaries, so the communards and the anarchists. White's their color, but the custom started in the suzerain's army. So it held meaning for the Kingsmen too. It's about girls and boys more than sides. Girls sending off boys who are going to their deaths, then also dying themselves in the ruins from dysentery and consumption. Hmm. It's a symbol of the civil war. 
Is it a coincidence it being on the roof? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. But what is the revolution, by the way? A big political and military conflict. Ask around or buy your book. Oh, thanks, Kim. Does it blossom in early spring? Yes, but not this early. Not to my knowledge. It looks dried, preserved. Very well. The petals feel dry and fragile in your hand. Right, what about this? My envelope with a stamp attached to the upper right corner. Handed to you by Everard Clare. Ah, okay. Right, sorry, I just hadn't looked at it yet. Inside are some legal documents with two names printed on them. Isabel and Lillian. Both signatures required. Okay, we won't interact with that yet then. And then the doomed hostel. The question yet to be totally answered is whirling in rags part of the doomed commercial area. Talk to Gart. Okay. Well, I've still got to talk to Gart about... This... How are we doing for time? We're good. We're good. Let's have a little chat. With the victim, whose name I've forgotten. Welcome to the roof. Thank you. Also, the, a name I can't work out how to pronounce, so I don't think I'll even try. Um, the young woman has a cigarette in one hand and a cup of coffee in the other. It must be fucking freezing. It's snowing now. You need to get yourself a shell jacket and some big yellow gloves. Below her silvery jumpsuit... An athletic young body, built long and lean. I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Nice view you've got here. It's much nicer now. Where the dead body used to hang, clearly visible from the roof, but no longer. Thank you for that, officers. Truly. Our pleasure. Uh, apologies for changing outfit multiple times in the last three days, but it's just something I have to do. There is something in her light brown eyes, a sadness, when she thinks about the death of that man. You mentioned a cleaning lady. I think I need one. Proceed, or proceed in a rush by saying no time for pleasantries. We have questions. No, let's be pleasant. Oh, yes. Legends of room number one have made their way around the building. They say a portal to hell has opened in there. There are voices of dark energy present, but not to hell, to another place, a third place much different from our world. A third place? Interesting. That's probably why the cleaning lady quit. I am Kim nice. Kisoragi. I am a detective from Precinct 57. I see you've already met my colleague. Have I ever? Have you grown accustomed to your role as a police officer? When did we meet? Was this before, before game? Oh yeah, feel the power. I have grown accustomed to the power, miss. Once cop, always a cop. I have very little idea of what I'm doing. That is unimportant. I'm gonna say I have very little idea. I quite enjoy leaning into that side of things. You're doing just fine. After all, your path has led you back to me. Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man down there. The people who put him there have asked us to talk to you. Ah, oh, I see. Takes a pensive drag of her menthol cigarette. Be careful. Ask something else first. When you go there, use words like, I hear you have been through something difficult. Yep. No need to dilly-dally. She's tough. Uh, I'll dilly-dally this time. I think we dilly dally again. I'm, I know, I know, we're we're playing a character here. Although my character probably wouldn't dilly dally. But then you think you you're probably going to get more out of a witness or a victim or sorry, whoever you're interviewing. In this case, I think we do dilly dally. I'm dilly dallying on, on whether or not I should dilly dally. We dilly dally. You'll sound like a Namby Pam. Oh, shut up, physical instrument. Coach physical instrument is overdoing it, even by my standards. Say something else first. What is this wild flower? She looks at the dried petals in your palm, then lightly touches one with her fingernail. Pretty. Looks like a dried Maybell. Is that the one you caught? Sambo style? What's Sambo? A martial art, sir. Thank you. Is that it? Yes. Why was it there? 
Why was there a flower on the roof? I don't know, officer. Because of the wind? Or an admirer? Any ad oh. I mean, Again, that's quite insensitive, isn't it? Let's say it, though. Admires? I'm too old to be a debutante. And this place is no fashionable society. What's your name, for the record? Clausier Amondou. Clausier. Okay, we'll try and remember that. Clausier. Where are you from? Vredefort, Republic of Aranje. And what is Aranje? A bad memory, officer. Bad memory of what? Of lilacs and lightning. Parks, glass, duraluminium. Vredefort is a conference city. It's always autumn there. A night. At least it was for me. Great voice. Another great voice actor. What's so bad about that? Nothing. If you're no longer there. Uh, how old are you? I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Could we take a look at your passport? I'm afraid you can't, <gasps> officer. Fine. Why is that? Because it's buried in a sealed plastic bag at an undisclosed location on the coast. On the coast, you say? Cash and airline tickets. Well, I'm going down the coast in a bit. Thank you for your candor. Why? They say so in your tourist brochure. Keep travel documents away from your person when west of the river. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have the legal right to demand your passport, miss. How do I know you've told us your real name? If I were to lie to you, I would come up with a more mainstream name than Clausia Mondu. It's a weird name. We'll say we have a legal right just to push her, but... Look, officers, I like this place, but I don't want to be stuck wandering the city like a ghost after being robbed of my travel documents. I don't want to become an indentured servant in a brothel on Boogie Street, and I don't want my relatives to pay the ransom. Okay, then. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Pours herself more coffee. If any of this made her nervous, it certainly doesn't show in her expression or her movements. What do you do? Something stupid. What's that? Oranis lit. Oranis lit? Oranis literature. It's what I studied at the university. Ah, uh, okay. Back to you. Back to me. How old are you? I'm 28. Uh, what do you do with Oranis lit? Nothing. I do nothing with it. How do you make money then? Money is very important. Show her some money. <laughs> cool. I've made more money by just being than I have with Rani's lit. Being what? Many things. A roller skating instructor, a secretary, Miss Rani at 37. <laughs> nice. It's the world's most tired smile. Miss Rani, now there is something you should linger on. Miss Rani 37? It's a beauty pageant, held in the year of our century 37, in Aranje. What's a beauty pageant? It's a competition for stupid girls. Men look at them and choose the most beautiful. What is beauty? When you have the fewest deviations from the norm. I've been told it's a type of mediocrity that I possess. So you were, the, so you were stupid and mediocre? No. I was the most stupid and mediocre. Nice. And I got a crown and a sash and a scepter for it. This is great. And a scholarship to study or an easelet. Great character, great voice work. Big respect again for all of these voice actors in this game. And to think they weren't there initially when the, first, when the game first came out. Mm-hmm. I think. Is that true? I, I would think. offer you coffee, but it's garbage. Literally tastes like poison. Thank you. That's it. For the record. The record. So official. I know your room is close to mine. I have a personal question. Yes. You're just one room away. Very personal. Were you in on Sunday night? I need to know what I did before I lost my memory. You do not need to know that. What you need is to ask normal police questions. Like... He waits for you to finish your sentence. Okay, so this is a task that I need to do when Kim goes to bed. Great. So that'll be on, like, episode 22. Get a grip, he thinks. 
At least do your personal stuff when I'm not here. They tell us you've been through something difficult. Something difficult? I've been through at least half a dozen difficult things. Which one do you mean? Were you sexually assaulted, miss? By sexually assaulted, you mean raped? It takes a quick drag, unperturbed. Yes. It's a bit early in the morning for raped, isn't it? She sounds positively buoyant, vivacious, totally unbothered. It's not that early. She looks around. The sun has risen over the sea. It stops snowing. People are rushing to work below. It is. It's murderously early. I'm amazed I'm awake. Why am I even awake? So, were you? Yeah. I'm going to go with not raped. I don't want to say that shit about him. Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more, uh, rapeable. Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up a bit. Some assault and battery, sexual assault maybe. It was clear the latter would be spicier. Titus asked you to spice things up for us. Are you sure you weren't raped? What did happen between you and the victim? What can you tell me about him? What did they hang him for? Not rape. How do the Hardy Boys know you? Thank you for this. No, let's say what did happen. We partied. What kind of partying? The kind I do? With all due respect, sir, I think we partied a little harder than that. Harder than this? Didn't know it was physical possible. Physically possible. Oh, it is. We are still alive. Ooh. What did you do when you partied? We drank, sir. A lot. For weeks, basically. We had that effect on each other. We made each other drink harder. That's why I liked him. What else? Stimulants. Speed also has that effect, making you drink harder. And then drinking harder makes you do more speed. It's quite the combination. We also had sex. Were feelings involved? A little. The drugs were good enough and we did enough of them. How did you two meet? Downstairs, at the bar. He was on some sort of assignment, uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool, scary scar. She appears aloof, but that scar part, the scary is stressed and drawn out. What's that about? Apprehension? With longing, she misses him. When was this? A month ago? Something like that. So Titus asked you to spice things up for us? Pretty much. Warming them. Warming her hands with a coffee cup. She must be very cold and exhausted of this life. She has been standing out in the snow for quite a while. She hasn't got a coat on. Uh, I don't even want to ask that. It must have been hard for you seeing him there. I think we'll probably ask everything then. Let's ask it. Are you sure you weren't raped? I'm 89% sure. Does that mean you're 11% not sure? You know how it is. Do you? Do I? Hmm. Maybe you don't. In conclusion, officer, I'm gonna go with a mild to medium not raped here. Sexual assault is a serious matter. I need a serious statement from you. Serious? She takes a long hard drag of her cigarette and then stretches her neck. You hear cracking in her shoulders. Oh, makes me want to do that. Let me make this 100% clear then, officer. I was not sexually assaulted. Would I be this flippant if I had been? It must have been hard for you seeing him there in the yard. What can you tell me about him? Let's say he must have... Mm, Let's just go through all of it. it. Must be hard for you. Oh yes, I've had a great view from the roof, out of the bathroom window, in my dreams. A bitter cringe. It hurts. You look to the lieutenant. He takes a small step closer. You called us, the RCM. Yes. 
cool reporting the hanging. Was that you? I made it. And I yes. would appreciate it if you didn't tell everyone. In Martinez, they call it snitching. We did it. We completed that task. That was one of the really early ones, wasn't it? Anyway, I don't need to see this. Let's actually carry on with what we're doing. Reporting crimes is confidential in Ravasho, Miss. Before we go on, if it's snitching, then why do it? Or the coolest voice. Let's say that. Because I couldn't handle it anymore. None of these people called. He just kept hanging there. Then they started stripping him. The coolest voice was disguised? I didn't exactly disguise it. I just muffled the mic and nicked the landline a little. Nicked it? How? With nail clippers. And I diverted some radio fuzz into it. Into the cold wire. Mm. Which landline? The one downstairs, officer. I used the whirling landline. That's some clever tampering. Simple and clever. Crossing the lines like that. Don't mention it. She must have had training of some kind. Why go through all the trouble? I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk, too. I was probably afraid the Union was listening in. Locals say they have ears in the wires. Thank you for making the call, miss. It was the right thing to do. I didn't want to, sir. But if I hadn't, he'd still be hanging there. What can you tell me about him? Name, eyes, age? I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not right now. Later, maybe. I keep seeing him. Like he is now. I can't talk about his... I don't know... hair? Okay. So that's something else we need to do later, with or without Kim, I guess. Sort of suggesting that she might be able to chat about it later. More tasks to do in this area. We're never going across the harbour. I know it's difficult, miss. We can return to it later. She meant she sees him in her dreams. I've also seen him in a dream. You have? Not like I do, I imagine. She sees them in each other's arms. I see him as me. She fishes a cigarette out of her pack and lights it, then looks at you with her lungs full of smoke. I can see the similarity, yes. Funny. <laughs> the lieutenant says softly. Funny how? Nothing. I also saw him. We had a long inspection and that sort of thing sticks with you. Let's move on. What did they hang him for, if not for rape? He had something to do with the strike. One has been roiling since I got here. Rotten timing. But you probably know all about it. And his role in this strike was... What? I think he was in a security detail. He was ex-military. Worked for Wild Pines. And against the Union. We didn't discuss work much, if you know what I mean. But I understood it was dangerous. And they lynched him for it? She nods. How do the Hardy Boys know you? They're frequent guests. Downstairs. They have a booth for Union members. They're probably down there now. And how did you meet? Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. Did you party? A little, yeah. Like you partied with the deceased? No, not as hard. I'm sorry to have to ask this, but have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy Boys? I have. Which one? Which ones, sir? I don't remember precisely. Titus, obviously. But as I said, it's been a long winter. Could that have been part of the reason they hanged him? Could that be why they lynched him? Jealousy? I hope not. Actually, I know that's not the reason. I'm careful about that kind of thing. Not crossing the wires, you know? But that's probably where they got the rape idea. What do you mean? Men like that? I don't know. It's the way their imaginations work. I suspect it's what they'd like to do to me. She changes balance from one foot to another, crossing her legs. Thank you for telling us this, miss. She breathes a silvery sigh of relief and weariness. The air on the roof feels humid. Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. As he says so, you feel the young woman looking at you, 
and get a feeling you can't quite put your finger on. A suspicion? I had something else before we go. A little thing. She nods. Silvery cigarette fumes disappear into her mouth. Let's talk more about this so-called assault. Not my favorite topic, but okay. Oh. Titus asked you to spice it. I mean, we've already asked these. Pretty much. Warming. She okay. must be very Conclude. We... Nice room yeah, you've got here. Yeah. It's pretty deluxe. No one likes to talk about their dirty laundry and their empty bottles. Maybe if you phrase it emotionally. What are you doing here in the Whirling in Rags? Look around, hate to say it, but you've got sad all over the place. You have quite the collection of prescription drugs down there. Did you know it leads down stairs to an elevator? That window is new. Let's say that bit about the door. I did not. Mystery solved then. I kept wondering where it led. There were tracks on the floor there recent. Huh. This isn't good. She's straight as a stick, suddenly. She feels like quarry, encircled. Her eyes dart to the door. It's an old pinball workshop. This place used to be a pinball arcade. Okay. I'm glad someone's had fun. I didn't think that she'd be interested in that. That's all for now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's lost in thought. Eyes narrowed. Forehead furrowed. Let's ask about the window. That window's new. It is. The lieutenant makes a note in his notebook. He finds the answer unsatisfying. You've got quite the collection of drugs down there. Thank you. I've put a lot of time and effort into it. Technically, possession of narcotics is legal in Rivershaw. But you should still reprimand her. No, no, don't listen to the stiff. We're not going to be cool. Reprimand her for this. Uh, how did you amass such a hoard? With money, sir. It's not exactly the anti-star size caboodle I intend for it to be one day, but it's getting there. You seem to have, among other things, preptide. Oh yes, one of my favorites. It cures many ailments. I what? Like. Not being able to stay up for 36 hours. Not being happy. It cures those ailments. It's just a merit speed molecule, basically. Do we tell her? No, because then Kim will know too. That's all as far as it goes Very then. Funky. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm wintering. How long have you been staying here? About four months. I came in November. Why here? Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, or here in Ravishal? Whirling. Because it's the funkiest building in Martinez. True. And because all the other buildings are bombed to hell. I've got other questions for you. Okay. Why was that so much louder? I need to talk to you about your room again. Let's return to this later. Let's return to this later. I'll be here until 11 p.m. Drinking coffee, most likely. Wow. So you're going to spend... 12 to 13 hours just stood there drinking coffee. Incredible. What? What, Kim? Looks like we have more to discuss with those so-called hardy boys. We do. Half their reasoning just went out the window. We do. You think this will make them co cooperate? Nothing will make them respect the RCM. But it will disrupt the game they prepared for us. We just tripped off one layer of whatever it is. Her decision to not corroborate their story was definitely not part of the plan. Why did she tell us all of that? What else could she have done? Lie? She saw there was no way to lie and get away with it. I'm not sure she had to lie. I wouldn't have known. If not you, then me. It was a smart move from her. She seems candid. You think so? Being candid is the best way to lie. The appearance of candor with some facts thrown in draws attention away from whatever one chooses to mm -hmm. omit. She may be trying to control the pace of the investigation. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our inquiries will bring us back here soon enough. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, no. Can I just go down the stairs myself? Yes. No? Okay. So, I think we're basically done. That was good. That was really good info. Is this where the key is? I wish I'd listened to where, where the key was. It was 
wasn't it outside a room i thought it was outside a room in a bush i don't actually need that key i've been i've i've been in that room now it's just sort of the completionist part of me wants the key um now i, I could speak to gar there's basically loads to do is can i look in this no Let's go down here. Who are these people? There's so many people to talk to. Look, they've got like a uniform on. I'm quickly talking to these people. Oh, I do need to log off. Quickly chat to these people. The woman in an RCM patrol officer's uniform winces as she notices you. Horse face woman. I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. Oh, okay. A patrol officer is the lowest rank in the RCM below lieutenant and sergeant. Is everything all right? Why don't you want to talk to me? I don't know. I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? It's cool to see another cop. No, let's just do this by the book. Why? I bring word of the end to come? Of course he does. A man with sunglasses. Word of the end to come. Okay, fine. Let's talk. What did you want? What precinct are you from? What precinct? Am I from? God, he doesn't know. Fucking deranged lunatic. You're the police, right? Cool, so am I. I don't... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, did. What? This is weird. Wait. Is he police? Me? No. I'm just a man with sunglasses. I like wearing sunglasses inside. Sunglasses and a fucking wig. What are you, the police, doing here? I'm just looking out for... You? No one. I'm just a man with sunglasses. And you are? A horse-faced woman. You're a fucking asshole. Are we done here? Okay, goodbye. Tremble. The time is now. That's Orla. What time? Time for the show. For... Taola, What's happening? The hallowed time of fear and disintegration. A countdown has begun. All will collapse on itself. The world will disappear into a single grain of blackness. All sound will be muted. All life will scream. Wait, when did this countdown begin? Monday morning. The moment you arrived in this reality, are the first crack in the sheer face of God. From you it will spread. What is it? Ulogu Theodos. Xino Zausin. Ipoli Osidien. Echondes Fronisin. Yeah, I don't think the time is now. No, you cannot leave. The countdown has not yet reached zero. Okay, this is because of the insane world ending i've been saying isn't it yes you spoke the words of the palindropos and the houses of pericarnassus items people even mm. words will tumble all will lose its meaning in the coming years that is why you marked yourself i do think the world might end soon do i opt in or opt out uh, this is where i think we opt in I think we've got to take these experiences. The face of the woman fractures. There will be herd killing. We all become vapor. What? Cop of the apocalypse. Cop of the apocalypse. Okay, right. Well, look at that another day. I shouldn't have spoken to these people. I've. I haven't left the area. We've. I mean, it's. I've enjoyed the episode. I'm pleased we managed to find out what's behind the blue door, and we chatted to the victim and all that stuff. We've got a uh, more interactions with these people, more interactions with the victim later on. We've got to have interactions with these people. We've got interactions with Gar. I could easily spend the whole next episode in the whirling in rags. We're never going to get over there, but we are, and it's fun, and it doesn't matter how long it all takes. Let's save. Let's save, and then let's get the hell out of here. Thank you, everybody. Um, as said, uh, this episode should have come out midday on uh, Friday, your usual time from now on. 
Um, but I am hoping to record another one um, to come out on Monday or Tuesday. So keep an eye out for that. If it's not there, don't panic. There'll be another one next Friday. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed that. And I want to get some other stuff done in, in here. Um, in here, in the game. And I want to make more progress. An hour a week is simply not enough. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Chuck in your comments and likes and all that stuff. Come and watch me at twitch.tv forward slash ad underscore ad underscore ad. I've just started playing Halo, no, Portal 2 for the first time, literally the first time. And I'm going to be playing that again. Um, if you're watching this on Friday, I'll be playing that this afternoon. Um, but thank you, and I will see you in the next episode, which will be episode 16. See you later.